Hi guys, welcome to another video um, which will be showcasing my appliances as I mentioned in my previous video. Um, just wanted to go through, like I said, some of my appliances with you because I have quite a few and maybe there are some people that have it or maybe are thinking of purchasing something like this. And also just to, you know, tell you a little bit more about these types of appliances if you're not very familiar with them. Okay, so let's get into it. This is the Smart Oven Air Fryer and it's my most recent purchase along with my Peel and Dice, which I also love. And I'll probably show you in another video. But the Smart Oven Air Fryer, I purchased it just over half a year ago. I'm extremely happy with it. I cannot say enough good things about it. It's made life very easy and convenient when it comes to cooking in the kitchen. The last time I actually used my regular oven was Christmas time actually, because I was cooking a few different dishes and this just helped me to multitask. The other thing that I like about it is it cooks really evenly because it has this thing called Element IQ. And what the Element IQ does is it senses where there's blind spots as it were, or cold spots, and it puts the heat, pushes the heat around there. Yeah, so Definitely, this is a really, really good appliance. And I think that most people would benefit from having it in their kitchen. Yeah. Now, size wise, you're looking at 28.8 centimeters tall, um, 47 wide and 41 deep, which basically means you're gonna be able to fit it on most kitchen counters, within the UK at least, I know for sure. US, I'm pretty sure it will fit as well. One thing I will say, however, is that you do need to make sure that you've got some space on either side because there are vents on here which allow the heat to dissipate. With your Smart Oven Air, you'll get a wire air fry basket, enamel roasting tray with trivet, and a wire rack. There's also a pizza pan, and while the wooden block is not included, I would recommend purchasing it. There's also a crumb tray at the bottom of the oven. The Smart Oven Air comes with 10 preset functions. You can grill on low, medium or high settings, determine how light or dark you would like up to six slices of bread or crumpets, bake anything from cupcakes to cookies to bread, even roast a medium sized chicken, lamb shank or side of beef and create lovely golden roast potatoes. The pizza function will allow you to cook from fresh or frozen and reheat is for any leftover meals. The warm function will let you maintain the heat of one dish while preparing another and air fry, my favorite, we'll use today. Finally, that set and forget function, slow cook for added convenience. Now, what I'm gonna show you today is I'm gonna show you the air fry function and I'm gonna show you how to make some really nice golden crispy chicken wings. Simple, you only need three ingredients. That's now you need to preset your oven. You want to set it to the air fry function 180 degrees Celsius, which is 360 Fahrenheit, and you're gonna set it for around 20 minutes. I have a bowl of chicken wings here, jointed, but you can cut them in half. A bowl to mix everything, salt, baking powder and seasoning, something to combine it all, and whenever I'm working with raw meat, specifically chicken, I like to make sure that I'm wearing gloves, just for hygiene reasons. So, first things first, I'm going to get a teaspoon of baking powder. You don't want more than this because it will give a bitter taste at the end. To that, I'm going to add half a teaspoon of salt and half a teaspoon of any seasonings. Now, this will be intensified during the cooking process, so don't worry about it. Make sure it's all combined together. And then what I'm going to do is I'm gonna put my gloves on because I will be handling the chicken. And you'll notice that I will keep one hand clean. Now, this will be for whenever I need to add my seasonings afterwards. I'm going to add half the seasoning first and mix it to incorporate it as much as possible. And then I will go in again with the other half of the seasoning to finish everything off. And there's your prepared chicken. Now, what I need to do is remove one of my gloves so I have one clean hand. And with that clean hand, I will use that to handle the cooking materials. So I have my frying basket here, and then I have a tray which I'll use to catch all the grease underneath. What I'm going to do now is just place all of the chicken on the tray, make sure it's nice and spaced out so it cooks evenly, remove my glove, and there it is. Your chicken is ready to go into the oven. 
Once the oven is preheated, you want to put your enamel tray in the base to catch any grease drippings. Place the air fryer on the top rack. This will be clearly marked on the front window with a number one. So now I'm going to show you how to make a very simple dipping sauce for your chicken wings. Most of the ingredients you're going to have in your cupboard anyway, and the good thing about it, it only takes three of them. So, do you want to make it? I have a jug to mix everything, a whisk, and a bowl to serve. My ingredients are honey, soy sauce, and chili. Now, I don't have any measurements, I just like to eyeball everything, but I give a good squeeze of honey, I like to use Manuka, but you can use any. And then I'm going to give a generous pour of soy sauce. Now don't worry, the sweetness from the honey will cut the saltiness. I like it a little bit more sweet, so I've used light soy sauce, but you can use dark soy sauce as well. You want to make sure it's nice and incorporated and it has a lovely texture, like so. And then I'm going to add my chili. I like it a little bit hot, so I like to add a generous amount. Give it another stir, make sure it's all incorporated together. And finally, you want to make sure you give it a taste so that you're happy with everything. And if you are, then it's ready to pour. Now, what I would say is you can add anything you like, sesame seeds, spring onion, coriander, but I've just gone with plain and simple today. And there you have it guys. That's how you make really nice golden crispy chicken wings in your Sage Smart Oven air fryer. Now just to let you know, you don't need a Sage Smart Oven air fryer to make these, but it does help obviously. Um, however, you can use an air fryer, even a conventional oven will work, so long as you have a convection setting, and most ovens do. But what that does, it works with the baking powder and the salt in order to give it that nice golden crispy skin. Now for me, I personally add the oil midway through. Some people like to do it before and that's personal preference but I find you get the best results if you add it midway. Now the reason for that is you've got your baking powder and you've got your salt and what these two things do is they draw all the moisture out of the chicken skin and that's why it gets nice and crispy and dry. So if you add the oil midway through that skin is already nice and dry you're not adding too much moisture you're just giving it enough so that it will brown so that's why I find that it works a lot better doing it midway through than before you start cooking but other than that once you've made them try them with the sauce or any sauce that you like and enjoy them so thanks for watching guys and hopefully you'll tune into my next video when I tell you about another one of my appliances until then see you later thanks for watching bye